We got little Dan. Oh, check out your new camera, yeah, dude. Look how small this thing is. Whoa. With with Please. a gimbal on it. I had to rezoom my camera because it was so small. <laughs> I wasn't even picking it up. Dude, that thing is wicked. What brand is this thing? It's a DJI. Oh, okay, that's a good brand, dude. Oh yeah. That's what our uh, handheld gimbal is. We're trying to beat the snowstorm. It's supposed to snow like crazy through Pittsburgh, so we're gonna try to leave a little bit earlier. Oh, Dan's got the number one blocked out. Okay. Find the number one. Smoke with uh, Craig DeLong. Any of the GNC guys? Didn't want to be pulling up on his territory. So once Mark gets here, we're gonna load up and get out of here. It's How's it going, Braxton? Too cold. Too cold. Going too cold. Up, guys. What's happening? Hey, Mark. What's up? Morning. <laughs> got two of them in there. We got to get Braxton's. We got to get your bike out, buddy. So we'll go get him. What's that? You gonna race the 125 this weekend? <laughs> not yet, not yet. It's coming soon enough though. It's the official beta gas gas. <laughs> Got the beta graphics on there. And I ordered the graphics to have a beta or a like race edition, like RE. Yeah. Huh, Braxton? We put beta on his sign up sheet too. <laughs> That's right, but we made one. We're making one. So we've been going down this really steep hill between Virginia and, and North Carolina for a while. And I thought Danny back here, so Danny cranking his, uh, what is Charging. <laughs> Hand crank charging. Well, what I thought it was, I could smell smoke. I thought it was Danny. We got a semi up here that's like blowing massive, uh, a bit on the brakes. So I thought Danny in the back was uh, creating some heat. <laughs> the semi up here. Alright guys, here's the van, got the trailer, Danny slept in his tent over there last night, Mark slept top bunk, Brax and I slept in the bottom bunk, the, let's see, finish line is right over here on the other side of this row of campers, starting line is like quite a ways that way over to the left, pro row is also over that way, but the food and stuff, finish line, it's kind of cool, all right here next to us, we got a pretty good spot, snuck in here last night, hopefully it doesn't rain, because we're in a two wheel drive van, or rear wheel drive, and it's kind of an uphill slope to get back to that road. So I am so excited. We beat all of the salt last night. There was a huge snowstorm coming towards Pittsburgh and we like busted our butt and uh, we stayed right in front of it all the way down through. So really excited about that. So I found the starting line. I'm gonna start over there by that green monster rig. Come this way around that banner and that way. So we're gonna go walk Braxton's track a little bit. That way he races at four o'clock this afternoon, huh buddy? Sweet. Alright guys, a little bit of track walk. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. Probably a good, what, 40 degrees out here? 50? It's like 50. It's amazing. Incredible. Dirt's perfect Saturday here. We're now on the adult slash... You, oh, that's the dangerous thing. It's all these e-bikes. We have no idea when they're coming. They're so fast. We were just joking. We need They need to put like the cards in the spokes to give us a warning. So, nope. Little, little track update. Super easy trail so far. I think we're what four or five miles in. I'd say so. And there hasn't been a single stick. So <laughs> it's gonna be quite opposite of the hardened duros that the guys have been running. Oh, there's a little little rock there, but that's about all we found so far. watch the quad races because we're never here in time. Alright guys, we just raided the Dunlop truck. 
they had uh so the reason why is well, actually it was buy six get one free and we really need these because these are the Dunlop 91 uh, en 91 ex which is that hard enduro tire that mark needs all summer and we can't get them i only have two at the shop so they had three and we actually used one of those as our freebie because these are like a hundred and some bucks he let us do it so we paid for those six and we ended up with this one so really excited about that braxton races in uh a little while probably like two hours how you feeling buddy good you excited? So excited yeah it's gonna be so much fun track the trails are like perfect we did uh the majority of a track walk yeah all but it's one mile hard. there's one little hill but that's not even gonna be it. no it's pretty, pretty easy All right, Braxton, what do you think, buddy? You excited? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Fun day? Big class, buddy. There's there's like 40 or 50 bikes in your class. You excited? Yeah. Be so much fun. First ride of the year? Yeah. Be a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. A smart, safe ride, right? Okay. Safe. Have a good time. Get the first race out of the way. Look at, dude, you're row number two. Look at XE1, XE2. Love you, buddy. Be smart. Have fun. Go, Brax. Yeah, buddy. Go. Yeah. Yeah, Brax. Go, buddy. Go. Go, Brax. Stand up. Stand up, Brax. Stand up. Every lap, get better! Go! What's wrong? Throttle? Good. That is hard. Huh? That is so hard to ride. Yeah? Oh, the bike is? There's, yeah, there's no rhythm. It's like chop, chop, chop. Oh. Alright, we got 30 minutes, Daniel. Getting stupid warm. Stupid warm? Because <laughs> it is still 30 degrees out it's here. It's not as warm as you would expect. It. Welcome to South Carolina. The sun is not out yet. It's starting to come out. What are your goals for today, Danny? 258 today. Uh, honestly, top 15. I'll be pretty happy. And 258? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think that's a good goal. It's going to be pretty stacked, I know. There'll probably be 60 guys and they're all quick. How about you, Mark? What do you think? Uh, I just want to stay healthy, stay up. Yes. Probably keep 
Dan in Keep Dan in sight? All right. I also would like to ride with Mark as much as possible. All right. Well, <laughs> that'll be easier for me filming you guys then. <laughs> Stay right Harder together. Harder for the gas stop. Yeah, Harder for, sure. for the gas stop? Yeah. Well, whoever's here first is going to get their stuff first. <laughs> That's motivation for <laughs> <laughs> Well, 20 minutes away. Climb. You can see it behind us. Brack's and I are heading out. We came right from the starting line to here. Mark came through, but we don't know where Danny is. So a lot of the roads have already come through. So we're going to head back to the van. Maybe that's where Danny's sitting. So we're going to get over there. We just got back to the pits because Danny didn't come through on the hill climb. And we just found a set of snapped handlebars. And this is Danny's handguard. So I just got him those on the podcast the other day. So toolbox is sitting like this. He pulled the bars out of the van. The van is open, so he, Danny was definitely here. Looks like he gave himself some new hand, handlebars, so at least he's out there, at least he's safe. That's the main thing. Hey, Guys, just gave Mark a new GoPro, gave him his drink, took almost all the gas out of his can. I don't know where Danny is because he broke his bars, so in the order, I think he's like seven to ten behind Mark, so we're gonna wait for Danny to come through next. You are having a day, man. You see my bars? What is going on with you today? <laughs> You're okay though? You look okay? You look healthy? Yeah, I'm just trying to get some seat time. Yeah, I'll just do that. Just have fun. Just go on time. <laughs> Right, Mark. Well, that was not not fun. <laughs> not fun. <laughs> that was so rough. Like, I don't know. And Iowa's suspension is way different than this. Also, oh, you. Something's wrong with my transmission. 
Got a downshift, and then if you're going down a straightaway, it'll just go. Oh, really? Yeah. Downshifting? No, just driving. Oh, gee. Oh, after you've downshifted? No, not even after driving. Just oh, for, just in general. Just in general. Oh no. What gear? Any of them? Second and third. Really? Right down there, I hit a tree hard. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll wait for little Dan to roll in. Cars met grace after a freaking horrific crash. Really? It's not ideal. Is that what happened? Oh, yeah. So, what'd you do? So I was probably going like 50 right behind everybody over in these field sections here. And then there was just a huge G out that I was in the dust, couldn't see it. Hit it, did like a 20 foot nosy, oh. and then came down on the side of the bike, full gassed it, was going straight off the track. And then I just let go of the bike. I slid, caught, tumbled, and this thing did who knows what. I couldn't even find it for like 20 seconds Are you until serious? the dust settled. I was looking all around. I had no idea where the bike even was. Ugh. And then when I finally found it, bars were broke off, number plate was missing, Jeez. everything was freaking a mess. Being on a track after so many other people have raced it. Yeah. This track was whooped. Yeah, it was hammered. You, uh, you wore right through your grip right down to the. It, it was like that, alright. Was it? Yeah. Jeez, dude. <laughs> I'd say so. Where's your other bars? Uh, they're, they're in the tool box. Yeah, they're laying around there somewhere. Alright guys, race recap. We just pulled out. We were parked right over there by my thumb. 45 minutes ago. Uh, this is how far we made it. About 30 feet. You can see the mass. Everybody trying to get out right now. Yeah, let's see. Let's recap real quick. Let's make it easy because we have time. So, Braxton raced yesterday. Oh, he's already laying down. <laughs> Braxton. <laughs> so anyway, Braxton raced yesterday. He got 23rd, 24th out of like 30 super minis and max V2, right Braxton? Yeah. So rough start to the year, but um, you're racing some really tough competition, dude. Those kids are wicked fast, so. Yeah, really, really. For the nationals. And then Danny, let's see. So start was good for both of you guys. I was watching it. They both raced 250A very eventful race for me <laughs> so yeah i was at i told the guys i'm like i'm not gonna go anywhere i'm gonna go straight back to the van i'm gonna wait for you guys to get there to be simple but then braxton I'm like yeah let's go to the hill climb I'm like okay so seven miles in braxton and i run down to the hill climb <laughs> mark comes through i point mark where i want him to go hopefully you thought the line was decent did you I go i didn't know who was telling me i just followed what? <laughs> i was like I didn't know i'm like you. mark 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 and then i thought the jacket i thought you would know it was me uh, all right, so anyway, I told Mark where to go. Is that what you chose every time after? Yeah, okay. I went wherever you told me. To cool. Go. I just well, didn't know it was you. I just that's, like, oh, that sucks. Must know what, wow. Better, so. Yeah, well, that's why I went there. <laughs> and then I'm like, Danny should be any second. And then after, you can kind of tell like when the waves of riders are coming through, because there's like another, like you can tell that row is getting to the hill. After like seven more of those, I'm like, Danny is not coming. So no. the problem with the hill that we were at, it is like a two mile walk back to the van because it's so far down in the woods by the time we got back i'll put a picture in here we found danny's handlebars just two pieces i found his hand guards laying there so danny give us a give us an update yeah i made it about half a mile in and then got tossed on a huge just g out out in the straightaway couldn't see it because i was in the dust behind a bunch of other people that was the same and, uh, you take it so then I was in a big cloud of dust, couldn't even find my bike for like 20 seconds. Actually, some spectators right there showed me where my bike was, went over to it. Number plate was off and like 20 feet away from the bike, bars completely snapped, freaking just a mess. And I was like, wow. So I got it up, got it started it because it was like flooded out because it was upside down for a little bit. And then got it started, rode it back over to by where the van was at, just with that half a bar hanging down. And then had to go like half a mile to vendor row, try to find a set of bars. Like the first three places I went, they were all sold out, didn't have any bars or anything. And then just a little KTM tent guy, he had some stock KTM bars, bought, bought those off him, had to give him every dollar in my wallet, <laughs> ran back over to the van. And then a guy that was right there helped me change them. And I got out and still got four laps in wasn't really riding that great after all that. I was just happy to get a little bit of seat time in, so not too bad. And then uh, I think Mark here 
had some eventful. So your bike's not handling so well at the moment, huh? Um, I mean, it was just my suspension is too soft for that stuff. <clears throat> I started out decent. I mean, I was making some passes in the beginning and probably made it a lap, maybe a lap and a half, feeling pretty good. And then I started, get, started getting a blister on my left hand. So then I just had to change how I was gripping it. And uh, yeah, and so I made it pretty decent to the gas stop. And then I crashed after that, hit a tree. Oh, your fender, yeah, your side yeah, shroud's gone. shroud off, smashed yeah. my shoulder, and now my shoulder hurts, but. Of course. Um, and then my bike started doing something weird where it wouldn't downshift, it would upshift, but it wouldn't downshift. And then it started making weird noises and then grinding and then locking up. And so I uh, I was kind of babying it the last half a lap yep. or so, because I didn't want to get tossed over the bars with the transmission locking up. No, so we'll. We'll do a separate video on tearing my, Mark's bike down, giving you guys an update about what we found. If your bike's doing it, maybe we can help you guys diagnose it. So um, we'll do that next week or two. We got a lot of projects yeah. in the shop right now, <laughs> but that's kind of a priority one. So, all right, guys, race recap. Thanks for following along, and we'll see you at the next one.